Hello everyone, this is the CS Revelation. In the previous video, I showed you how to create uh, two SQL tables, the country table and the city table. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert data into these two tables. Uh, the same order you created the tables, which is the country must be created first, then the city table, the same order uh, has to be followed when inserting data because this column references the data that come from uh, countries ID from country table so therefore this has to exist first before we reference it in city okay so now the syntax for inserting data into a table is the following so you simply use insert statements so it's insert into table name uh, so table is country and here goes the values that we are inserting now the values uh, I must say also that you can specify the columns of this table, the order of these columns. So you could say country ID will be uh, the first column and then comma, the country name is the next column and then comma, country code. So this is basically saying these are the columns I'm inserting these values into. So I'm aligning uh, these column names with these values and I could simply type the values here. So the first value is one uh, for the first row. We're inserting one row at a time and then comma and then uh, I'm going just to align them this way just so you know what value goes with what uh, column okay so this the next value is just a germany and that's a bar chart it has to be go and it has to go in single quotation marks so germany and then comma the country code for germany is also char and it goes in quotation marks that's deu okay so now this is a one insert statement for one row so this is how you insert data into uh, the table with just one row. Now I'm going to eliminate these columns because you could do that uh, and just to keep it simple. Uh, but uh, you need to make sure uh, when eliminating that part, you need to make sure that these values that you're inserting are aligned with the order of the columns. So you must know that this goes for the country ID, this goes for the country name, and this goes for the country code. Okay, so by simply running this a statement you're inserting one row into the country table so one row is inserted now let's make sure that we do have it in the country table so we're going to do select star from uh, the country table and uh, there you go so we have the first row is right here so we listed everything listed all from the country table these are the column names and this is the first row which is for germany okay now i'm going to show you how to insert all rows all at once in just one statement um so to insert all rows in just one statement first you want to uh list all your insert statements except for the first one because we already have inserted that so this is going to be serbia okay so type all the insert statements and you could execute them all at once so now i'm going to show you how to insert all these rows uh all at once so simply just type all your insert statements for all the rows so this is the second row which is for serbia the third row for croatia the united states poland spain and russia so an insert statement for each uh, row and then do use the begin and end SQL block. So you're going to put all these insert statements uh, within a begin and end SQL block. Make sure that you put a semicolon for each insert statement and a semicolon here. Now you're going to run all this block together and it will be processed as just one statement. So it says statement processed, which means that all these rows have been inserted. Now let's run a select uh, statement to see if we have all these rows inserted so we're going to do select a uh, star from s country table now uh, we have inserted seven rows uh, and this is the output 
Now notice that the first row that we inserted is here, which is Germany, and then we have the other six rows that we have inserted in the one SQL block. Now the order really does not matter which one is in the bottom, which one is first, which one is second, because later on when you're retrieving data, that's when you're going to play around with ordering the result sets. So for now, we just want to make sure that all the data is in the table. Okay, now next we want to insert data into the uh, city table. So it's the same way. You're going to do a begin and end uh, block. And in here, you're going to place all your insert statements. So it's insert into the table name, which is city. Uh, and you're going to put the values. Okay, so the first row here, we have Berlin, which is Varchar. So Berlin, and then comma, comes the next value, which is area code, which is numeric, and that is 30. And then comma, the next is population, which is 376900. And then comma, country's ID is 1. Now, notice that the country's ID, because it is a foreign key, which is a reference, it has to exist in countries table. So you can't put a value here that does not exist in the country table. So you can't put eight, for example, now, because eight does not exist here, okay? Okay, now put the rest of the insert statements and then just simply run this one block all together. Now, this SQL block has all the insert statements for uh, the city table. So I put all the insert statements here and separated them with semicolons. And now I could simply run or execute uh, this uh, block uh, all together. Now I notice I have an error here. Uh, I did that on purpose. That is because, uh, so first of all, this is Berlin and the last one is Varso, but I put Berlin, the first one and the second one, just to show you that if you put a duplicate primary key value, it's going to tell you that you're attempting to insert uh, or a constraint is violated. So here it says unique constraint is violated, means that uh, the primary key should be unique, uh, all values across that column, but we have a duplicate here, so that means we need to fix that. Okay, so now uh, we have the correct data, so if we run that, it should say statement processed, and let's run a select a star from city, just so to see if all the data has been inserted. So run the statement, and this is what we get. So we get five rows, uh, I'm actually six rows uh, that are matching the rows in this ERD model. So we have inserted six rows, successfully inserted all the rows. Okay, so uh, again, the uh, syntax for an insert statement is uh, insert into table name. Uh, and then here goes the columns, so for example, column one and then column two. These are the column names and so on. Uh, and then you have the keyword values. And then in parentheses, you put the value one that goes for column one and then value uh, two that goes for column two and so on. Uh, I said you can eliminate this part of uh, stating the column names and just simply running them this way and it should uh, insert data uh, correctly. So, okay, so this is the end of this video, uh, and I hope you learned uh, about inserting data into database tables. In the next few videos, I'm going to walk you through the retrieval process of data and also the data uh, manipulation. So we're going to learn how to update data, how to modify existing data, and how to uh, rename existing, let's say, columns or tables, how to delete and remove data, and how to modify the structure of an existing table, and so on. So that's going to be in the next few lectures, in addition to learning how to fetch data from this database with uh, simple and composite uh, queries. Okay, so stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.